Hi guys, what is going on? It is Desire here and today guys we're going to be jumping back over to Zombies. A lot of the glitches I've been putting out recently have been for multiplayer and guys those glitches are really really good and a lot of them are still working so if you're looking for some really overpowered multiplayer glitches go ahead and check my channel and you'll be able to see them there. But this guys is going to be a glitch for Zombies, it's basically going to be the same sort of thing we got for multiplayer. Multiplayer we've got bot lobbies so you can just level up so fast in. I'm going to be doing pretty much the same thing for Zombies, just a method that will allow you to level up unbelievably fast. So guys there's not too many things that are required with this only thing you'll need is at least one friend other than that you are pretty much good to go so guys this does have a little bit of timing involved so it may take you guys a couple of tries i personally found this one a little bit tricky to start off with but once i've done it a couple of times we start getting it more and more often so guys, I just want to say a big thank you for the crazy amount of support we get on the channel recently. Just about to hit 6k subscribers and we're not too far off getting 1 million views in total on the channel. So a big thank you to everybody that's been taking part in that, I really appreciate you guys. So let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay guys, so to start this off, you want to go ahead and have your mate sit in a Zombies Custom Mutations lobby or a Zombies Custom Game. Then you yourself want to go into Multiplayer and go into Custom Games. Once you're in custom games, go ahead and use the D-pad to hover over options. Now guys, remember to use the D-pad here and not the cursor. Then hit Y or triangle, find your mate, and then press X or square to join session on him. If done correctly, you'll be put into your mate's custom zombies. So once you're here, go ahead and have your mate kick you, and you should get a little pop-up on screen notifying you that you have been kicked from the game. Make sure you leave this up guys, as this is actually part of the method. So once you have that little pop-up, go ahead and get your friend to invite you back to the game. Accept the invite and you should be put back into his lobby with the notification that you've been kicked still up on your screen. So guys, this is the timing part. I'm going to explain how I time it. However, you guys are going to want to try different timings. So what I do is we count down 3, 2, 1, go. So on 2, my mate goes ahead and presses B or circle and then presses X or A on bring party to actually bring us out of custom zombies. Then when we hit go, I go ahead and press X or A on the pop up and then I wait a second then I press X or A again. So what this does guys is your mate will bring you out of the game, however you'll be able to click A or X on actual custom games as you get brought out, so you should stack the screen on top of itself. You can tell this is done correctly when your mate says that you are out of custom games, however you still have the custom game settings up on your screen. From there guys you want to go ahead and get your mate to choose classified or blood of the dead, but make sure he chooses it on realistic. The reason for this guys is because realistic gives you a lot more XP than normal does. So make sure he chooses Blood of the Dead or Classified on Realistic and then he goes into Private Match. So once you're in Private Match, go ahead and get your mate to back out alone to leave you in the lobby by yourself with the stack up as this is the way to give yourself host. So guys, I'm now going to be showing you on screen the exact settings that you want to set. However, I'm just going to be talking about a couple of the crucial ones. The best thing to do in my opinion would be to just watch what I do in the background and just basically just follow and change every single step that I show you. But basically guys, the crucial thing is you pretty much want to turn all of the different special zombie types off and then set it to vermin only, which is basically dogs. And then you go ahead and actually set the spawn rate to quadruple, set the health to half and the damage to half. This is pretty much the key thing to the glitch. The rest of the stuff is just going to be for helping you set up and actually get a limited specialist and just get set up in a corner where you can just AFK and go for a prestige incredibly quickly. So guys, go ahead and copy the exact settings, have your mate join back and then we are ready to actually start the game. So guys, the last thing you want to do before you actually start the game is make sure you have the Hellfire equipped as your specialist weapon and you go ahead and make sure that you have a pistol as your starter weapon. This is pretty simple to do, you know, everybody gets a pistol as a starter. Personally, I'm using the Strife just because that's what I use as a starter, so either use the default or use the Strife and then just make sure you have the Hellfire and then you can go ahead and start the game. 
So guys, once you're actually in game, your first kind of task is to just get your specialist to level 3. This is very easily done on Blood of the Dead. What I tend to do is I actually tend to head down towards near where the pack punch is or the, one of the locations for pack punch is. I buy the vapor off the wall and I go ahead and use that combined with actually using the hellfire to get it all the way up to level 3. So guys, once it is level 3, go ahead and put any weapon other than your pistol into the pack punch and don't pick it up. So you are left just with the pistol. From here guys, what you want to do is go ahead and shoot out all of the ammo of your pistol. Then go ahead and pull out your specialist and die by either holding a grenade or just get absolutely destroyed by dogs. So once you're on the floor, you want your mate that is in the game to go ahead and pick you up. Then guys comes to kind of a little bit tricky bit, which is you need to knife dogs to essentially fill up your specialist meter again. Once you've filled up your specialist meter, pull it out and it will now be unlimited. So guys, you can kind of understand where this is going. You basically just now are going to go ahead and sit in a corner, get your RT or your shoot button, just stock down. I use elastic bands personally, and you can just go ahead and farm away. So the place I actually go for the fastest spawns, I've kind of figured out two places. One of the places you can go is at the top of the stairs in the warden's house. One of the other places is if you go on the roof and you actually see the corner I'm in in this video, that is also another good place. So guys, if you're unclassified, go ahead and sit in between sort of the entrance of the server room. Or you can actually go ahead and sit in the elevator when it is up at the top floor. Those are two really good spots to sit on that map. And that's basically it, guys. So from here, you just go ahead and sit. Now bear in mind that your controller can turn off, so just kind of nudge it every now and again. Other than that, you will go ahead and actually farm through and just get an absolute ton of levels. So that's pretty much it guys, if this tutorial does help you level up ridiculously fast on zombies, make sure you drop a like, but other than that guys, I'll see you in the next video.